So last night I tried to take a picture of two planets, the planet Jupiter and the planet Venus together along with the moon. I thought I'm going to get a perfect shot. I set up my AVX mount. I set up my DSLR, the modified with the Rokinon 18mm lens and uh, the clouds came in. I couldn't actually get a shot. I did a time lapse. I learned how to use DSLR. One day I'm going to get that shot. What I wanted to talk to you guys about is whether you use RASA or whether you use uh, Hyperstar, Hyperstar with Smith's Cassegrain telescope, whether you use the refractor, definitely this is something that every one of us should include that as part of our workflow. Okay. So, I mean, if I ask you a question saying that, tell me the difference between a refractor and a Smith's Cassegrain telescope like an SCT, you will say like, well, collimation, right? You don't need to collimate the refractors. But really, that's not all. You also need to look at the field curvature and the image tilt, right? So your telescope front of the lens is right here and your camera sensor is right here, let's say, right? So your sensor should look at your telescope eye to eye, like right in the middle, okay? If it looks down or if it looks up or if it is looking sideways, you know, the sensor to the telescope right in the middle, you have issues. You will have a field curvature problem. You will have tilt problem, right? How do we make sure that this is accurate, right? So if you don't measure that properly, you think the picture looks good because your HFR says that it is like 1.6, 1.7, but really it is an average of all the stars in the field of view. On the right side, you may have 2.5. In the left hand side, you may have 1.2, right? An average is like 1.7. You think I got it, but really your picture is going to look funky by the time you download the picture. Like one of the reasons could be that you may be off with your field curvature or maybe the tilt or something is going wrong. All you have to do is download the CCD inspector software. It, there is a 30 day free trial available and take a 30 second exposure whether it's RASA, Hyperstar, Smith's Cassegrain Telescope, or a refractor, take a 30 second exposure, upload this picture to the software, and right click it and say field curvature. If the field curvature is showing like one pixel or zero pixel, you're good, you're, you're fine. If it starts showing like, you know, some odd numbers, like, you know, five degrees or some other like you know numbers and you and the picture is not is looking sideways like you know focused on one way or focused on the other way you know definitely you have a problem right uh, you in case of rasas or smith's cassegrain telescopes you can point out to some kind of collimation issue whereas in case of refractors you may have some kind of uh, image tilt going on because of your image strain right filter wheel and your off axis guider and your your camera you have an opportunity to check it before you like spend all night and then upload the picture again and you can easily check it quickly and you might get a perfect picture i hope this is going to help you guys uh, get a good picture uh, happy thanksgiving everyone <music>